Finally, the last class of the day. Okay, let's get situated here. I'll definitely need all these. Gah, I should've known that would happen. Oh no. Here comes Amy. Hey, watch out, girl! Oh man. There she goes. Jeez! What are you trying to do? Kill me or something? I didn't mean to, I swear. <sighs> it's alright. In fact, I think I know how to solve this problem. Have an empty bottle lying around? Take a blade and cut the bottle open just below the neck. Be sure to watch those hands. Next, take a freestanding zipper and unzip it about halfway down. On one strip of the fabric, put a line of hot glue. But be careful not to get it on your fingers. Before it dries, press the fabric with glue against the inside of the bottom half of the bottle you already cut. Now take your pens and markers and stick them right inside the makeshift pencil case. Those puppies are safe and sound now. Need to borrow a marker, Lily? Aw, so sweet! Thank you! Why buy an expensive case at the store when you can make one as cute as this one right at home? And if you carry the two, you get 245, which is also the answer to number 7 on the previous exam. But we'll cover that tomorrow. Oh man. Saved by the bell. Oh, internet. I've missed you so this last hour. Whoa! Isn't that a little loud, Sophia? Cool your jets. I'll turn it down. Let me see. Where are my headphones? What a mess. What? How does this even happen in there? Wait. <sighs> I think this gum may prove quite useful. Mm. I've got mm. it. Take a plastic gum case like this one and take the gum out. Add some personal touches like fun stickers. Cute, right? With the case spread open, punch two holes into one side. Now add a keyring. Finally, you can listen to your favorite jams in public. Hey Sophia! Come on, we're all going to lunch! Now you can keep your earbuds neat and tidy for next time. And you never even have to throw them in your bag. Genius! Ow! Who left this sharp bobby pin on the couch like this? Ooh, that had to hurt. Ooh! Something just stabbed me right in the foot! I see you, you little sucker. Ow! Okay, I have a few short minutes to get myself together before class. Oh, can't forget these! Oh, I can use a little makeup touch-up. These lashes need some help. Let's see if my mascara's in here. Hmm, where is it? Yikes! Another evil bobby pin strikes again! Are these things conspiring against me or something? If you're a girl, there's no doubt you understand the plight of stray bobby pins. Seriously, empty any purse or backpack and you're likely to find an arsenal of bobby pins you'd completely forgotten about. See? Case in point. If only there was a way to keep them all together instead of just throwing them around everywhere. Ooh, I forgot I had Tic Tacs. Wait a minute. I think I have a solution to my bobby pin debacle. Before you throw away an old mint dispenser like this one, consider repurposing it into a pin holder. Simply put those bad boys in there and you're all set. You can even bedazzle it while you're at it. Why not? Now whenever you need a quick pin, it'll be in here, not in the sole of your foot. Super cute, Lana. Okay, now I really need to get to class. But not without this handy little guy. Ain't she gorgeous? Nothing quite as exciting as putting away laundry, right Mia? Wait, these totally don't match. Hey! That's not supposed to happen. Ugh, actually, now that I take a look at this thing, it's looking a little dingy, isn't it? Oh, check it out! Little toy dinosaurs! You know, instead of hiding in there, they might actually give new life to this boring set of drawers. First off, let's give these drawers a new coat of paint. I'm really digging this dusty shade of purple Mia chose. Now it's time to attach some hardware. Take a bunch of these little toys and toss them into a bin along with some paint. Shake it all up and… voila! Pick the toy you want and place it wherever you want the new knob to be. With a screwdriver, stick a screw into the toy. You may have to push a little hard to get it through the plastic. Check out your new dresser, Mia! Well done!
Now that's the face of someone who just went on a shopping spree. So, what'd you get? Aren't these tennies just darling? They're perfect for school! And these adorable things are great for nights out with the girls. And they were on sale! Can you believe it? Yay! But neither of those pairs compare to the most beautiful shoes of all. Are you sure we're ready for this, Sophia? Introducing the gorgeous, one-of-a-kind, pink satin-heeled shoes. They were the last pair in the store! Ugh, everyone is going to be so jealous. I can't wait to wear them around town. Sophia? Look at all my beautiful shoes! Why did you buy so many shoes? Where on earth are you going to put them all? Sophia! What? I'll figure it out. Well, for one thing, don't throw out these boxes. They may come in handy. If you have a bunch of shoeboxes lying around and shoes to be put away, you'll love this hack. A shoebox lid and place it open side up. Then place the corresponding box upright inside of it like this. Once you place the shoes inside, start stacking the boxes on each other like so. Now you can see all your gorgeous footwear instead of cramming them into a dark closet. Well done, girls! Hey girl, so sorry to keep you waiting. The traffic was awful. Ugh, that's annoying. Now come on! Just get in there! Why won't this thing stay in my pocket? What's a girl gotta do to enjoy a friggin' soda here? How about my back pocket? Whoopsie! If you're looking for a place to tuck your phone away, we've found a great solution. Take a sock like this and stick it just behind your jeans pocket like this. With a needle and thread, sew one side of the sock to the top of the inside of your jeans. But instead of a regular running stitch, wrap each stitch in front of the needle like this. Put the stitch through again to secure the knot. With the needle, flip these loops up so they're no longer laying flat against the fabric. Now pull the string tight so the loops disappear. Pretty cool, huh? Finally, pull the needle through the end of the line one more time and cut it from the inside of the sock. So, go ahead and spill that juicy gossip you've been teasing me with all week. Oh, hold on a sec. Okay, let me show you the pictures Amy sent me of her new haircut. You'll die. These are the before pics. And these are the after. Way better, am I right? And once you're done with that phone, you can stick it right back in your pocket. Okay, gotta study for this midterm. <sighs> Just wish it wasn't boring me to sleep. Hey, I wasn't reading you. Kind of… <sighs> where was I? Hmm. Think, Mia, think. Have an old Barbie doll you never play with anymore? Take a sharp blade and cut across her legs just under her knees. A little gruesome, but it ends well, I promise. Cut down no further than an inch. Watch your fingers. Sorry, Barbie. Get a piece of paper and slide it through the leg you just cut like so. Don't forget the other leg. After you've prepared the arms the same way as the legs, add them onto the paper as well. Whoa, looks pretty freaky, doesn't it? Just wait till you see what we're gonna do with it. If you're in the middle of reading a book, take your new bookmark and stick it right onto the page you want saved. Ha! <laughs> it looks like you have a little Barbie stuck in your book. So, what's on the agenda today? Oh no. Why am I feeling so much wetness? Ugh. Looks like one of your pens must have leaked black ink all over your stuff, Amy. Ew. So gross, right? But maybe your stuff isn't completely ruined. Yep, that's the look of a light bulb going off. Want to give your pens and pencils a little color? Fill a large container with water and your favorite colored nail polish. Go ahead and dump the polish into the water. Once you do that, feel free to add even more colors, randomly dispersing it. Now take your pencil and slowly dip it into the liquid and lift it right back out the same way. You can do this as many times as you like and can experiment with different colors. Wow, where did you get pencils like that? Want to use one? Thanks, Amy! Way to turn lemons into lemonade, girl. There's nothing like going about your day and getting rudely interrupted by a misstep. Ooh, see what I mean? Ah! Ow, ow, ow! My poor, sweet, innocent foot! Oh, man! And to top it all off, I broke the darn thing! 
This is officially the worst Saturday ever. Hmm. Oh, hey, little guy. Boy, do I have a job for you. Take a little plastic toy like this and squirt some hot glue down its body. Now stick the actual pin from the thing you broke earlier and stick it right on there. New pin? Who this? Oh my gosh, how stinking cute are these. Way to turn the day around, Amy. Hey, sorry I'm a little late. These pins are amazing! Can I borrow one sometime? This pink one is my favorite.